Hello everyone, happy Wednesday morning to you all. Um, let's see here, I'm seeing who all is here. If Grizel is here, I don't know if she will be or not, she's on vacation, but happy birthday to Grizel. Happy birthday. Today is her birthday. We, we've had so many birthdays here recently, I love it. June babies, I'm telling you A what. A lot of June babies. Rachel, you just missed it. I did. You did. I did, I'm a yeah. May baby, I'm close. <laughs> Um, anyway, welcome. If you are new to the channel, my name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. And Miss Rachel behind the computer is also an owner and craft educator here. And we are very excited to welcome you here to our YouTube channel where we love to craft so many different kinds of crafting. You can see our crickets here. We love to cricket. We love sublimation. We love laser cutting with our Glowforge. And we have an X tool that we're going to be breaking out and doing some reviews for you all as well. We love sewing, woodworking, um, home decor, basically anything that you can think of creative and crafty, we will try at least yes. once. We, we also love dabbling in new things. Becca yeah. has been on a uv resin high for weeks we've done screen printing yes. candle making we do a lot of paper crafts we do so much here at oak and lamb so if any of that interests you go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit the like button for this video we want you here with us crafting with us because we learn from you all too uh, we're not going to sit here and say that we know everything and that we're professionals and you're going to absorb all of the information that we have and it's all going to be like we want to absorb from you as well because we believe in community and believe that together we're stronger and better crafters with each other so absolutely anyway hit subscribe we'd love to have you miss jessa is here <coughs> from texas she's gonna listen while mowing hi jessa good for you yes doing yes. that uh multitasking tina slept 21 hours straight after getting a tooth pulled she said good drugs i guess i guess so that sounds heavenly i bet i would yeah. feel fantastic after i slept for that long let's hear it for the july babies yes debbie we have some i mean i have a july <laughs> yes. baby my dad is a july baby yes. um we have lots of july birthdays as well wait candle making did i miss that somewhere we have a member only on candle making and you did an organic as well i didn't did you? i did now yeah. in the member only i go way more in depth than mm -hmm. i do in the organic video yeah. because that is what our members deserve and then but. you slap the most adorable and perfect graphic with a water slide decal on the outside yes. of that candle so cute. um you use a mug right like yeah. a coffee mug yeah so cute anyway check it out megan um uh, i can send you the link if you need it um I'm pretty much going to be listening today and making 16 pumpkin rolls for a friend's wedding cake. They love my pumpkin roll that much. Stacy, oh, I love pumpkin rolls that too. That sounds delicious. Yes, that, that's a labor of love. Yes, it 16 is. 16 pumpkin rolls. Whew, how Bless many people are heart. coming to this wedding? That's a lot. That's a lot. a lot of it is. pumpkin Kathy's rolls. Kathy's a July baby as well. Um, and then really quickly, and we'll get started, Rachel dropped a link for you all. We have a sale on our annual membership, which we don't do sales on our annual membership a lot. Um, it is $35 off our annual membership, which makes the whole year $164. Let's break that down by month. That's like $16.40 a month. No, less than that. That was by 10. Hold on. I'm not that good at math. Lord knows that I'm not. 164 divided by 12 would be $13.67 per month. So wow. that's very affordable. Yes. Very, very affordable. And what you get with that is our entire library of cut files with free commercial use license, meaning that you can use all of these files um, to legally sell things with your with with your the graphics. And then also uh, we have new content coming out in the form of a cricket course. I'm really excited about that. We've not talked a lot about it and we'll we'll dive into that later, but that will be coming out at the end of the year. So if you are new to cricketing, it will be perfect for you. Yes, and that's only one of many courses we plan yeah. to create and include free for members. Yes. So, I mean, good stuff's coming all the time. Yeah, if you're just finding us, we are new here. We are not new to crafting, but we are new to the Ogan Lame channel. And so we're building things, and you all have been amazing about going alongside with us and really just being our champions to, to move forward and add and do all of that. But anyway, um, access to our private Facebook group is also included with that membership, and it's invaluable. So... Use the link or, that Rachel has provided for you. Um, type in the code 35OFF, 35 off, and get $35 off. And that's, a, that's an incredible sale because of Becca and Anna's 35th birthday yes. yesterday. Yes. So that's why we... That's why they chose that uh, an amazing amount for you guys. Yeah. Really, it's their birthday gift to you, so... 
So today we are making a hands-free phone accessory. Now what in the world is that? So I, I brought mine, I, I purchased one, and I brought mine to the Camp with the Flock trip. And so many of the flock members asked me about it. I was like, I could, to we can make this. This is totally makeable. And the reason they asked me about it is because I had gone canoeing or kayaking and had this little guy on my phone so that I could have it around my neck. I could take pictures of my kids while we were kayaking and um, wouldn't have any issues. So let's look really quickly at the overhead and what this actually is. It's a kind of canvas piece. It's just a simple design and it's designed so that it's wide enough it won't come out at the bottom. And then we can put a key ring or something like that on it. So you have a phone case this isn't just for iPhones, it's any phone that you can put a case on. And you need a case like this, not the one that's open on the bottom. If you have one that's completely open on the bottom, this will just come right out. Yeah. They do make these with like a 3M adhesive on it, so you could remove that backing and then like tape it down if you have those open ones. But this particular one, you need this kind of case. So this goes in the bottom here, just like this, and then you put your phone right back in. And then you would attach the key ring and then have... Or a um, lanyard or whatever. Yes, well, yeah. the key ring and then the lanyard to the key ring. And then it went around my neck and I w it was hands-free. So many people loved it so much, I thought, we can make this. So I've made a cut file and it is available on the website right now. And I wanted to change it up a little bit because we're not just going to cut it out and put it in there, of course. So I found a material that is called, Rachel has linked it for you I all, have, yes. but it is a waterproof canvas. It's Otter Tech's waterproof canvas. And it ha there's lots and lots of colors available. So check the link for that. But I got white. It is 100% polyester. And automatically when I hear 100% polyester, I think, Sublimation. So we could customize these and make them really cute. I don't know. Uh, you can go back to the overhead really quick. Sorry, Rachel. I'll keep no, making you fine. go back and forth. Uh, we put our picture on this. We could do it double-sided so that you have two different options. And that's what we're going to do today. So we have this. If you are not into sublimation, we have another option. And that is HTV on here. So I'm going to do one with HTV. Now, I will say this. This waterproof canvas, while we're on the overhead, I'll show you. This waterproof canvas has a coating on it, a backing, which makes it waterproof. And because of that, once you apply heat to this, the backing does melt. So I've got, I'm going to talk to you, kind of talk you through this about um, how, to, how to apply the heat and whatnot. But the cool thing about the fact that it melts is that if you fold it over on itself, and I'll show you the file in a second. Basically, this is folded. You see this? It's two pieces. If you fold it over on itself and then apply the heat, then it melts to itself and you don't need adhesive. If you didn't want to do that, if you wanted just to do a fun color and not melt it to itself, then you could use a fabric adhesive or even like E6000, probably, um, Probably hot glue would be fine too, honestly. But so we're gonna we're gonna walk through all of that. Waterproof canvas. I do have my sublimated sheets already printed out, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to come up with a design that will fit this. I did this in Illustrator, but you could easily do this in Design Space as well. I'm gonna show you in Design Space since most of you have Design Space. Um but I, I like Illustrator because you can see I've printed out on this large sheet. Design Space would not let you do that. And you can also see that I don't have the little tail right here. I've cut that off. I've sliced it off, so I'm going to show you that. Um, what else do I need? I need a heat press of some sort or a heat source. And then I need my deep point blade to cut this canvas. And then I'm also going to be using a strong grip mat. So I have this mat, it's Paper Studio, um, and that's why it's blue. Let me pull this off really quick. So a strong grip mat, I will be braying my canvas down so I'll have a brayer. And then if you're using HTV, you'll need a weeding tool to weed with. Are there any questions, comments, concerns? Is that the same, did you already reply to this? 
Is that the same canvas you use for the scoreboards that you made? It is. Yes, Megan, it good is. Memory. Good memory. Great memory. It is the exact same. So if you bought some for that and still have it, amazing. You can use it for this. Okay. So let's jump in really quickly um, over in Design Space. Oh, you know what? I don't even have my cord ready. Hold on just a second. I was, I was about to say, I'm like, your screen's black. Oh, it helped yeah. if it was plugged in. <laughs> it, that would help for sure. Um, there we go. It'll be, it'll take just a second to, there we go. Okay. So over in design space, let's import our file here. The file uh, has two different sizes for two different phones and or for the smaller iPhones and the larger iPhones. Now, I know that not everybody has an, uh, an iPhone, but between these two sizes, you're gonna probably find one that will fit your size phone. Now, you can size this, drag and drop to make it bigger. However, when you do that, it makes this piece right here larger as well. So it may not fit through the whole of your case. So that's why I went ahead and made two sizes for you so that you didn't have to worry about that. Those look just like sideways dumbbells. They do, don't they? Yes. Yes, they do. Yeah. They do. <laughs> Sorry, I had to say, someone else is going to as well. Yes, I just yeah. had to. So I'm going to use this larger one, and what I'll do is just ungroup and delete the one that I don't need. And then to start designing, I'm, I'm going to press Copy, uh, Command-C and Command-V on my keyboard to copy and paste this. And then this one I'll be cutting out of my canvas, so I don't want to do anything to it. But this one I can go ahead and start manipulating and doing a little bit of design work. So let's see really quickly. Um, I want to grab a basic shape from the left hand side and then I'm going to slice off this right here. So I want to zoom in and make sure that I'm not overlapping or not too far apart. So I definitely want to just butt that up right there. See how there's still space right there? I don't want that. I'm going to pull it up just a little bit. And then I'm going to select both layers well, actually, before I do that, let's copy and paste this and then make this bigger. And then I'm going to select both of these layers and weld them together. And I did that so that it would cover the entire rest of the image. You can only slice with two layers at a time. So if I hadn't welded those together, then I would have had three layers and it wouldn't have worked how I wanted. So now that I have these two layers, I can select both, press slice, and then I can delete the slice results that I don't need. Now I'm left with this, which is exactly what I want. Now, um, if I have, hold on just a second. Let me see what I've got here. Let me upload some stuff here. I'm gonna be using this fun graphic of me and Anna and Rachel. Let me find it really quickly here. It is in here somewhere. Here we Can go. Can you just find one of me and you? <clears throat> Anna doesn't need to be in. Anything. You know what? I might have one. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. Poor Anna. <laughs> oh. There we go. Oh, oh, much better. That is perfect. I don't know about you, but that right there. That looks, is perfect. That looks perfect. This is me. not the background we use or anything, but it's okay. Beggars can't be choosers. Yeah. That's oh, perfect. that is just perfection. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Oh, wait. It has the... Hold on. I got the wrong one. It has the white background. Guys, Becca's nails unintentionally My glow gosh. in the dark. They glow in the dark. <laughs> I did not know until last night. I turned the lights off and I'm like, Wayne, Wayne, look at this. He was like, what is wrong with you? They glow in the dark. It weirds me out. Okay. We have our little, is this image so big it's not going to work? what I get for being mean to Anna. I know. Yeah. Honestly. And then I want to upload a background really quickly because I'm going to be working with a couple of things. Let's see here. Where are my backgrounds? Graphic. The life of a graphic designer having a little too much stuff. There's a lot in there. That's for through. sure. That is for sure. Let's do, let's do our check. Okay. Press continue here and you can do whatever backgrounds you want. If there's like a gradient background or a rainbow background or um, I don't know. I mean, gosh, there's so many different things. Then import whatever background you want. 
Unable to load. Check your internet connection. Image well, that's not weird. saved. That is weird. I don't know that I've ever gotten. Let's try it again. And if not, I may have it already saved on here. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to just import both of these. And what I want to do. And no, this does not interfere with like the charging port or anything like that on the phone. No, it doesn't. I'm glad you said that. I meant to mention it. Oh, it's this is a huge image. That's why. Okay. We'll make it smaller here. And then bring this over here. And then what we want to do is just slice that shape that we just created from our background image here. So I'm going to rotate it. And you may notice, did you all notice that the size lock ratio button isn't there anymore? The um, rotate button thingy isn't there anymore. But if you hover over the corners, then you have the rotation. Um, and then the size lock ratio button is up here still, but it's it's not down here. So those are things to to note about, I guess, the most recent update. I wish they would leave stuff alone. Some stuff I'm like, really? I know, I know. Okay, I'm going to bring this to the front. Just place it wherever I want and then slice from it. Slice. And now we have this guy here. And then I can pull this over, right click and press send to front or bring to front. Then I'll size it down. These colors look really terrible. <laughs> That's okay. Because <laughs> I wanted to be mean to Anna. I know. I've already That's printed too. Look at look at that lovely glitter thing in the oh, back. I think it's stunning. We should write like BFF or something on here. Oh my gosh. Yes. Anyway, however you want to design it, and I'm gonna just go ahead and tell you. I hate designing in design space for a couple of reasons. One, it is so stinking slow. You have to you have to say you hate designing in design space because you design I'm getting an there. Illustrator. I'm getting there. Yes, but it's true. When I started when I started with Cricut, I didn't mind it at all. Right. But once I have started designing in Illustrator, design space is super slow and you can't save. Like if I wanted to save this, I can't do can't. that in a I good way. Yeah. Like you can screenshot and remove the background and all that, but it's but, not going to save on. it in a high resolution right. image. Yeah. But if if you don't know any better, design space is decent. Yes. But you know, when you're quick as a whip like Becca in Illustrator, I'm sure I'm sure it's annoying. Whatever. Anyway, and there's more options here in Illustrator. So this is what I've done in Illustrator. It's basically the exact same thing. Let me show you really quickly how you would do it. Um, um, let's pull this over for those of you who like Illustrator education. So all I do here again is grab a basic shape and then I'm going to place it right here, cover this up. And then you can remove this bottom part two ways. You could select both of them and then use your shape builder tool to remove this, or you can press uh, click to minus front under the pathfinder menu. So then I have that left. And then all I do is bring this over and see there are all of these different layers here. They're all separate layers, different elements that I have added here. And I'm going to move this over, remove the fill so that I'm kind of creating a guide and I can see where things are going. It's not my car, is it, Rachel? No. Okay. And then I'm going to just center this until I like it. Then I can select all of the layers and press Command 7, and it makes a mask. So as you can see, that's a whole lot easier than doing all of that in Design Space. Super quick, super easy. <laughs> anyway, just a little bit of education there for you on that. No matter how you get it done, just do your design work. Um, I went ahead and put this monogram on here for sublimation and did a fun gradient in here. Um, so I've printed that out and it's ready to go. And then for the HTV part, obviously I just entered a text box, typed in the letters that I wanted. And then once I got there, I'll bring this to the front and then size this to fit my phone accessory. Once it's sized, 
Then I have to decide how many of these I want to cut out. I want to do, I think I'm going to do two sublimation and, and one HTV. So I'll make three of these total. And then I've already cut out my HTV, so I'm just going to delete that. Now I'll click make it. And now I am going to connect my machine and the material setting that I use for this is plastic canvas. Now, if you have an Explore series machine, I think you can still cut this material, but I haven't explored what material setting. Plastic canvas is not an available material setting with the Explore machine. Again, you can use a deep point blade on the Explore, so I really think that you would successfully be able to cut this material. Um, plastic canvas this is my material setting it tells you to load your deep point blade so let me do that really quickly and by the way if you're wondering the difference between the fine point and deep cut blade great point, yeah. the fine point blade is 45 degrees at the angle of the blade the deep cut blade is 60 degrees so it's cut at a, at a sharper angle which means it's like a longer deeper blade can go deeper so, yeah yeah mm -hmm. absolutely Great point, Rachel. Well, you know, I'm okay. just I'm just here to educate. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna cut a piece of this here that I think is going to be big enough. I should have probably looked to see. Yeah, it'll be big enough. I think it's about to fall on the floor. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my presses to 400 degrees for my large one that I'm going to be sublimating with and then the second temperature setting on my easy press for the heat transfer vinyl and then I'll place this canvas I, um, you can I think you can tell a little more easily on the colored canvases but obviously there's a right side and a wrong side because one side is waterproof and the other is is not um, the one that feels more rubbery is the side that needs to go down onto your can onto your mat. So let's place that there. Rachel, are you cringing at my? I'm trying not to look at it. Cutting I'm really here. Trying not to look at let it. Let me just let me just trim this up for you here. Oh, it's stuck to my shirt. It's the whole thing. <laughs> you, you guys like my kindergarten bandaid I have here? You oh you like it, Bex? Now I'm gonna just spray the material down so that it doesn't move on me because this is being cut with a deep point blade and it doesn't rotate like a rotary blade would. It will drag, which is what it's supposed to do, but if it's not adhered well to your mat, it will come up off the mat. So I'll, I told Rachel, how many times do you think that we had craft fails, specifically with materials like this, just because we didn't bray our fabric down? Or use a stickier mat. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna so say many often. times. I mean, we yeah. didn't use a brayer until probably close to a year ago. Yeah. Maybe a little bit longer. Yeah. We just thought it was useless, but I'm telling you, it's one of my favorite things yeah. now. Now, we would press them down and things. Yeah, with our hands Nothing and stuff. works as well as the brayer. I thought... There's no way that can work better than me right. just using my hands or scraper tool or whatever, but it does. Okay, so let's go ahead and load this into our cut. The crack hut. Crack hut. Let me pull it over a little so you can see. And then once it measures my mat length then we'll press the flashing start button while that is cutting out i could go ahead and weed this and because <gasps> what you're reading off the map no that's are what you, i was gonna say because i am a crazy? seasoned crafter and know better uh, i'm gonna grab a mat and place this on here because weeding on the mat is so much easier good good uh Good catch though. I was gasping. Especially small things. Ugh. Like larger things that aren't super detailed, you could have success with. And I'm not saying you can't have success if you don't. It's just easier. It is easier. To not have to keep right. it down. Anyone who tells me they don't prefer to weed on the mat has not tried it properly. Is that Anna? Yes. Oh, my material's moving on me. Even we though, just gave each other a pep talk about We this. sure did, and now I have a flashing red button, but that's totally fine because I'm gonna be able to walk you all through this. I'm wondering if the top of my mat had some um, 
yuck on it, and that's why it didn't want to stick down. Oh, oh Lord. I'm probably going to need to turn this around. <laughs> Don't look at the damage. Oh, this broke off. What broke off? What is it? Oh, it's the... I don't know how to put it back on. It's the little plastic covering for the housing. Hold on, let oh, me that's, that's... plug this so that I can pull it up. I don't know if, I don't even, don't even know how to put it back on. I may have to look into that later. I don't wanna make you all sit through that. Um, so I am going to do, use the other side of the mat that has not been used. When I say that you need a stronger mat, it doesn't need to be one that you've used a ton. It should be a pretty new mat. Yeah. This is why, Rach. It had um, some thread on it on the bottom. Do you want a brand new standard mat? I haven't used this side. Oh, okay. This was brand new yesterday, oh, so I'll just okay. use this top part. Okay. Thank you, though. Let me see Absolutely. if I have enough on here or if I need to cut a new piece of fabric. Let's see here. It is nine i think i could do it here let's try again if i have to do this four times like i had to do that balloon yesterday <laughs> guys after the live anna was like sitting like ready to leave and becca was like determined she made a, another balloon she was like i don't care what's going on i'm gonna make a balloon and redeem myself because i've done this before and it worked great and I don't know what happened. Um, she wouldn't have been able to sleep last night if she hadn't have finished that balloon yesterday. Oh, it would have been terrible. Yeah, it would have been horrible. But she finished it. It looks great. Thank you, Rachel. I'm going to move these around just a little bit because I think I'm a little bit close. I want to show them what you're doing. Look at that. Yeah, I've just moved this so that I can get them a little bit closer together. Otherwise, it moved me out further to the nine section. And I want to be lazy and not cut another piece. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Okay, I think we're good here. Let's try this again. Maybe my brain skills need to be um, improved. Well, you know, the best brayer in the room right now is not me or you. That's true. You are not wrong. <laughs> She's not listening or she would be piping up. I know. I know. I wanted to be careful with my words. Yeah. I think she's asleep. Really? Yeah. Seriously? I, I, yeah. I'm like 90% sure that she's taking a nap right now. <laughs> Her head's like face down in a pillow. <laughs> okay. What'd you put in her food this morning? <laughs> I don't know. I really, I wore her out, I guess. Me or Charlie Bow. Okay. Let's try this again to the machine and choose we have to choose the material setting again because i had to turn the machine off hi maritza hello okay come on make Kimmy, it. the balloon may have popped multiple times but now she's such a good teacher because she taught her sister how to do it exactly anna wouldn't have gotten hers done if it wasn't for becca for sure <laughs> certainly mm. that's certainly the case is Ana watching? She's probably dying. I right haven't now. seen her on here yet. She might be a silent watcher. There are a lot of those. Did you know? There are so many people that are watching right now that are not. Don't even comment. Or yeah. that never comment. Yeah. Because I'm that I'm that person. I will watch a live and never comment. Um, if you've never commented before, comment. We'd like to shout you out. Yes. And tell you hey. Sixty four watching and only forty one likes is what Heather says. I keep getting updates from UPS that my glitter is supposed to be here today. They've been saying that since Monday. I'm chomping at the bit to do your glitter tumbler. Oh, That's frustrating. It is so frustrating. That's the reason my glitter tumbler video was late is because Amazon kept saying, Deliver to, delivering today, delivering today, and they lied. I get your frustration, Kat. I get it. It's so much fun, though. I'm really excited. We're using it again tomorrow. We are. Good. Well, hi, James. What's my baby doing? What's my sweet baby doing? Oh, Beckett oh, made a Beckett's baby being noise. a baby. Beckett made a baby noise. Beckett and I dropped Beckett and Fallon off at Rachel's this morning because I had to go get some blood work done. And so Beckett, like, hogged Charlie exactly like we knew he would. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I did. Said, yeah, I did. Beckett would have stayed there with Charlie 
forever. He would have just stayed there. Did you feed him back? Is she really asleep? Yeah. Go look at her. I swear Fallon's asleep. <sighs> Love her heart. I wonder if she doesn't feel good. She didn't say anything, did she? No. No. I would have told you for sure. He's asleep in his swing. He, mm. She ate really good, too. Huh. Okay. Almost finished here. I honestly wonder, Rachel, I, I, I may look into it a little bit more. I wonder if there's a material setting um, to use the rotary blade, because I think that would be... Ideal. Ideal. Was there an option to switch your blades? Uh-uh. No? Uh -huh. Robin, this is actually one of the only channels I comment on. I'm a lurker everywhere else. I like that word lurker. Lurker, yeah. I'm you? a lurker too, yes. Okay. Christy, y'all. This is just coming off really easily. Is it? Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Yeah. Y'all had me dying laughing yesterday. You all are so darn funny and I love your all's crafts, but I'm a silent watcher and can't comment and watch at the same time. Well, Christy, thank you so much for commenting. Yes, thank you. We're so glad that you're here. Okay, let's start out with our heat transfer vinyl one. And this is just going to be black and white, which probably really speaks to Rachel and Anna's hearts. Yep, yep. Um, and that's fine. And what I want to do, because like I said, once you add heat to this, this will attach. It will melt to, oh my gosh, that's probably so hard for them to see. Hold on. I didn't even think about it being white on white. Let me grab some tissue paper here. Um, once you apply heat to this, it's going to adhere to whatever it's on. So what I want to do is fold it on top of itself, just like this. And I haven't done the heat transfer vinyl one yet. I'm just doing it based off of what I think will work. And I'm going to fold over like this, grab my mini easy press, and go ahead and apply heat here. And when I apply heat, I do want to apply heat a little bit down, and I'll show you in just a second, you probably can't see it, but down on the tail portion, because I want a little bit of it to be glued together. See how this one is glued together right here until we get here? That's what I want for this one. Probably gonna burn this tissue paper now that I'm thinking about it. Let me put, let me do this one. Hold on. I feel like I'm missing out. I mean, well, I'm going to do it really quickly. <laughs> I'm putting um, 400 degrees right here because it, it's quicker. Good firm pressure to get that backing to just adhere to itself with the heat. Leslie said, after yesterday's live, I'm grateful I still have a job because I laughed so hard. <laughs> okay, now it has adhered to itself. And then I'm going to just grab wherever I've put the vinyl. What did I if do only your it? table was cleaner. Oh my gosh, it's awful. Where did I put it? Dear heavens. Thanks for all your help, Rachel. You're welcome. <laughs> Is it under the mat? I just looked. The mat over, over there? What in the world I have I done? If I have to cut, oh, oh it's on the bottom. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. How many of you all have done that though? Like look for things and it's like in your hair or on your shirt or on the bottom of your shoe or. Okay, so back with this, I'm just going to place right here. And then with my little mini easy press, this will transfer over really quickly. And the reason that I got a clear case on my phone was so that you could see this through. If you did not want to see this, then use whatever case you want. You don't have to decorate it. It's strictly for functional purposes at that point. Um, and it doesn't really matter what it looks like. But I like to see the blue on my phone sometimes. Look how cute. That was super quick, super easy. And that's ready, and we'll put them in our phone in just a second. Um, let's grab this next one, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out here. 
Now you can approach this specific one two different ways. If you are concerned about lining this up perfectly, you could have done a small offset with that design after you sliced off and created just this design then you could do a small offset, make it a little bit bigger, and then make your design a little bigger so that there is some overhang, some like bleed with your design. But I'm not really worried about it. And I'm just going to line it up like this. Fold this over. Just like this. And you could, mm, let me think about this. I didn't think about this, hold on. What's the matter? I'm trying to decide if I could transfer this over to both sides at one time or if I need to do one side at a time. Like if I could put both of these on and the heat will go all the way through and transfer both. I'm gonna try it, let's try it. Okay, lives are for trying stuff anyway. I did them individually earlier. Let's see what happens. Shot. Let's see what happens. Okay, now th in this particular case, because I have so many layers going on here, I am going to grab some tape and just tape this down to my paper. Now I have just regular paper right here that I'm covering my uh, heat press mat up with because if there were, if there was any overhang, I don't want the extra overhang ink to get on my mat here. Now, 400 degrees for 60 seconds, and we'll see what happens. You were talking about um, phones, and Teresa and Trisha both said uh, they love when they're looking for their phone and they're on it right they're on the phone right like, where's my phone that's so yeah. funny it happens all the time or like I, I can't find my glasses where are my sunglasses and they're on your yeah, face yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah 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 that's yeah a good one. whoops yeah <laughs> sorry you're frantic looking around for it yes cat says she has a bad feeling about this well here's the thing if it doesn't work i can redeem myself with another one and if it does work then you all can save some time yeah so i don't know take, take i really for you i really don't know if it'll work or not I would say it probably won't be as bright as, as the bright, other side. Yeah. yeah. And that's fine. We're testing. But that's why we test for you all. That's why we do it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We're almost there. Cat putting that negativity in the air. <laughs> She's just a realist. I appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm that way too, Cat. You know what I could do since this is taped down? Critique. No. Flip it and put heat this way. Oh. Well, well, now we'll never know. I know. I know. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Hold on. It is n not as vibrant. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to make sure. That, burnt piece of paper. I want to make sure that I don't get in the tail there. Okay. This paper has been through it. It is <laughs> it's a good it's piece of paper. A trusty piece of paper. <laughs> Have you thought about making an app? Um, what would you want in an app? That's what I want to know. Apps are super, 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 super expensive to make if they're yeah. made well and um, time consuming. So if it's something that we're interested in, it, it wouldn't be for a while. Uh, but I'm interested to know what all, what all you would want in an app. Read Kat's comments. The Band-Aid is very distracting, took my mind off that. So yeah, it is very distracting. Uh, it really is. Yes. I had a big, nasty gauze thing on there. They, When I have my blood drawn, it has to be my hand. They can't get it in my arm. Oh, that hurts me to think about. Yeah. Now, they've got it on, like, the side of my arm in this horrible vein before. But for some reason, thinking about getting it on the top of my hand, I feel like that would really hurt. Why do they do it more back here? That skin is so here. thin. Oh. Here or something. This is the first time they've done it way up here. It Normally, I don't even feel it. I felt this one. I've only had two IVs in my life. One when I got my wisdom teeth taken out and one when I had Charlie. And the one when I had Charlie was the worst possible spot ever. Did I tell horrible. you? Oh. I don't remember which. Sir. I was in the hospital. I was getting ready to have surgery. And they came in and said, hey, this is blah, blah, blah. She's a student here. Do you mind if she tries to seek you? And I was like, no. Mm. Say, you say no. 
well, of course I said yes, because I'm a yes person. And I'm like, well, she needs to learn. Oh, my gosh. She, I mean, she dug around in my arm for a while. And finally, the instructor was like, I think I'll take over. And I was like, thank, thank God. God. Oh, oh, it was awful. Gosh. Linda, sorry, I'm late. We're packing the motor home. <gasps> Fine, where are you going, Miss Linda? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's take this off here. That's warm. That one looks pretty good. Why is this stuck like this? Does the adhesive go through? Doesn't look bad. Not bad at all. Let me show you the, where's Ooh. the other one that I did? God, this table's a nightmare. So here's the difference. I mean, color-wise, it looks almost cleaner on the one that I did both-sided. This is so cute. Look at that. I love it. It's so cute. I love it. Okay. So let's do the other one really quickly. And I think I might, you might do it the same way. I wanted just to do one that wasn't quite as muddy of a design. Well, I'll just do the front of this one. Linda going to Boone, North Carolina for <gasps> a month. You're not that far from us in no, Boone. No, you're not far from us. Be safe and have a yes. great time. Yes. Crystal, UPS just delivered my glitter. Woohoo! Yes. Oh, hopefully that's good vibes for Cat's glitter to come too. I hope so. Yeah. Did you get from LMNOP too, Crystal? Or where did you order? I found, um, well, I didn't find it. One of our members told me about it. Glitter Guy? Found him on social media after she recommended him. So I went to his website and got some really cute blanks that I'm really excited to show you all. Maybe next week if they come in. Oh, let me tape this down first so it doesn't move on me. Not next week, the next week, because we already have next week's live scheduled. The week Rachel gets back from the beach. Yes. Melissa says, I was late and missed what this was for. Are you going to show us the finished product? Sure, sure. am. It's really cool. I saw Anna wearing it first hanging on her neck when we were you know why Anna wore it because she took my second one I have two of them how rude of how her rude. that's rude yeah but it was super neat super neat yes I'll show you in just a second soon as this one is finished LMNOP definitely yeah Crystal is this the first time you've purchased from them Crystal or do you have other things from them this was our first purchase from them, but I really liked them. They shipped really quick. The colors were really pretty. I think it's interesting, not good or bad, that they sell by the ounce and not by like the bottle of Just glitter. the, yeah. Yeah, but I think, that, I think that's relatively normal in the glitter world. Yeah. So why does 60 seconds seem like so long when you're up here? Okay. But lives go by like that. They do. They go by quick. And we've already been on here for I know. 45 minutes. I know. And okay. Maker's going to learn when we would have six, seven hour live events. We would go home. My mom would be like, are you so exhausted? I'm like, no. no. I'm pretty good. Time Look fly. how so cute fun. this is. Is that like a blue green? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a very, or it's a gradient. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That is really cute. And then, of course, you could do the backside too. If you wanted to. Okay, so what this is, for those who missed the beginning of it, um, you use this with your phone. So I have a phone case here. I can use either side. I'm gonna use this one because I like it better. And then this little guy goes through the whole of your phone case right here. This pops in and it won't come out because I just have a hole here and it's not like. And it's super thick material. It's super thick, yeah. That's why I chose this. But then you flip over and it's really cute right here, but I've got... Or if you have a colored phone case, that's just, just put it in there blank. Yeah, you know? just like this. Yeah, no one will ever see there. it. Yeah. Um, let me grab this one here. I'm gonna put a little key ring through here. If I can get it through. There we go. And then I can either put a lanyard on so that I can hold this, or like carry it on my neck, or I have 
this, that's like a silicone ring, and it can go on my wrist so I can be hands-free with my phone. I really love that. Love right? It. Love it. Love! <laughs> Super quick, right? Yeah, so stinking cute. And custom. For those of you who are looking for fun things, like if you do craft fairs, this I think would be something good for you to do. Um, one, not everybody's doing it right now. In fact, I know zero people who are doing it right now. None. I've not seen one crafter do this yeah. before. Yeah. Um, if you wanted to do HTV and not drag your sublimation printer or anything like that, you could take your joy and just cut customize out it right these there in front monograms of them. on the joy. I mean, listen, everyone loves monograms. Monograms, I don't think will ever go out of style. Yeah. You know? If you're if you're going to do it that way, um, then grab some colored um, pieces. And what I yeah. would do is grab like four or five really common colors. Go ahead and cut these out before you even go for to sure. your craft fair. For sure. Have them ready. Um, you could even fold them over and go ahead and have them um, adhered to each other before you go to your craft fair and then just cut out their monogram or do whatever, put it on there and sell them that way. Um, include the little key ring with it. You don't have to include a lanyard unless you're selling lanyards, like making them and selling them. I know Kat makes um, dog collars and leashes. Lanyards may be something that you would want to look into to include with that. Christy says that is a cheap money maker. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. A little bit of effort, you can get some, some good profit this on that. This huge yard of this, it's 60 by 36, was $8.99. I mean, how many can you make out of $8.99? Tons. Tons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hundreds and hundreds. I have some pattern ply flex for my Glowforge that I can make these with. I don't, I don't know. What's, what's ply flex? I don't know. You, you definitely could use other materials for this. It doesn't have to be. I just wanted something a little bit sturdy, but it doesn't have to be. I mean, you, what else could you use? You could use craft plastic, honestly, if you wanted to. Um, what else? Duck canvas would probably be thick enough. Um, the reason I chose this was because it was 100% polyester and I wanted to be able to sublimate it. That's, that's one of the only reasons I chose this. It was thick and it was white and sublimatable. So there, I mean, you can make it out of tons of different materials. But this cut file is available. It's already on the website. So if you are an Oak and Lamb member, then you can make these and sell them completely legally. Um, make lots of money for them. In fact, I hope you do. Let's see. Where did you get those key rings? Uh, Walmart, maybe? I think guys, it was don't Walmart. Don't forget. Don't forget. All the supplies are linked in the description. Yes. Except for those except key, for rings. The key rings. Everything's linked down below. The material and everything. The material is a uh, Ottertex waterproof canvas that that Rachel linked for you all. Could you use a drop cloth for HTV? Probably could, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then just use something like this, Eileen's fabric glue or something like that to glue it together. Or if you have fabric glue sticks, you could do that to glue the two sides together. Um, the HTV run auto press finally announced launch July 6th. Ooh, that's soon. Amazing. Love it. Thank you again, ladies, for all you do. You're welcome, Christy. Thank you for watching with us. Hey, Daphne. You are welcome. Anyway, fun, fun live with you all. We had a little uh, hiccup over there, which I have to try to figure out. Have any of you all ever had that little plastic piece pop off of yours before? This still works without it. It does, we'll yeah. fix it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I broke it or if it's supposed to be able to pop off and on. I'm not sure. I'm not really worried about it. Uh, Mike is here. Hey, hey Micah. And she says, so can we still use that material if we're not sublimation savvy? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. It's actually a really easy one. Anything flat is super great to practice sublimation on. It's a lot easier than like the koozies that Becca makes and things like that that are a little bit more, I don't know, there's a little more uh, room for error in those, but these are great to try. I will just say, make sure that when you are putting heat on this, that it's not flat down onto something. It will adhere in no time at all. It's going to melt to whatever. So just bear that in. This one is super cute. I, 
Honestly, it's just black and white, but I do kind of like it. Of course, you had to put your monogram on it. Very selfish of you. I'm kidding. You could I'm use kidding. it in your phone. You could use my monogram in your phone. It's true. No one will know. Nope. Miss <laughs> Linda, thank you so much. She said, watching you ladies is the highlight of my day. Oh, Being so with you sweet. all is the highlight of our day. I want to say around 300. So we're talking we about be, HTV Raunt something. So we would be only using HTV, right? You can use you HTV. You can use it. HTV. Yeah, absolutely. This one is HTV. HTV with the fabric. This one is sublimation with the fabric. This one is sublimation. So whatever you want to use. Um, I wouldn't use regular vinyl. You're not going to be touching it a lot, but you definitely want it to feel nice in yeah. that one. You could use a printable heat transfer vinyl. If, oh, that's a good one. If you don't oh, have, yeah, if you don't have sublimation, you could easily use printable HTV, cut it out to the exact same size and place it on there so that you could have multiple colors or something like that if you wanted to do that. Um, also, it would just make it a little bit thicker. I don't think that's a bad thing. Press on a Teflon sheet so that if it sticks, it peels the back off. Um, I do that right now for you so we can see hold on yeah I have a piece right here piece. like he's digging through the trash I'm digging through the trash yes I'm gonna I'll cut this one it's my mangled one well Kimmy you can you cannot cut this with the joy it requires a deep point blade, which is not compatible with the Joy, unfortunately. But you can um, cut out HTV with the Joy because you also cannot cut out the sublimation since it is um, print and cut. Print and cut. Which one? We have some hack videos on doing that, but you know, simple answer. Yes. Hold on. That's hot. That got hot. <laughs> oh. Did you say it's hot? It's a, it's 400 degrees. Yeah, but the Teflon sheet, it was only on there for like five seconds. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Going to wear my O&L lanyard on the cruise so I can advertise. Yeah. Uh... See, I'm going to need a tutorial on all the different options. I feel so lost, but it's really cute. Um, so rewatch this because I did, I did the HTV on one and I did the sublimation on one. So you can just rewatch it. Very easy. Good use of your scrap bin too with your yes. HTV scraps. All right, let's see what happens. I've got 20 more seconds. They're talking about mom's cruise. I'm jelly. It's been a while since I've been on a cruise. <laughs> right, Kat? That's how I feel every day of my life. Um, the squirrel syndrome. It's a lot. I don't want to touch it because it's no, so hot. No, don't touch it. Don't touch it. It's hot. We'll give it a minute. <laughs> we're so patient yeah man i am so impatient especially when it comes to crafting god i hate it i have a hundred keychain setting right here that i have to put resin on them and i am 90 oh yeah i already did 10 you're you already right. did 10 you're correct 90 more keychains to put <laughs> resin on and i'm hoping that my impatience does not affect the quality Especially if both of us do it. If you'd recruit me. Do you think you can do a good job? <laughs> I might need to practice. If it was for us, sure. But quality needs to be decent. Ooh, look at that. Good tip. Good tip. It's a good tip. Yeah. So, so if you want to do it this way, man... Maybe I'll do a member only and just completely redo this for you all. If you want to do it this way, then don't slice out the top portion like we did. Just take this whole design and put and create your image around it. 
like this and then sublimate this straight onto this and then glue it together. Now you wouldn't be able to, to glue, but you could use your Eileen's glue. Right. So good. Very good. This is why I love you all being live with us. You teach Amazing. us. Yeah. Yes, I love it. Yep. Fantastic. Um, was there anything else? Not that I've been able to say. Okay. All right, we will be live tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Eastern. Again, Rachel will be with you all. We are going to be talking about the double-sided adhesive that we did. Um, she did the glitter tumbler with, but she's going to be doing some paper crafting with it. So that's exciting, some different ways to use it. Um, so be here with us or watch the replay if you can't be live with us. Um, again, if you have not joined the Oak and Lamb family, grab that link that Rachel has shared with you and use the code 35OFF, 35OFF for 35 off. Um, and enjoy a fun, special discount for your first year of membership here at Oak and Lamb. Let us know if you have any questions about the membership or about anything that we offer here. If you have specific questions, you can email us hello at oakandlamb.com or always comment here. Rach moderates the questions and comments uh, even after we're live. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you here tomorrow.